Hello my friends and I'm back with another HDR recommendation video on my channel, this time the Division 2 on my Xbox Series X. And as always before we start and if you're new to my channel do me a big favor subscribe to my channel and support me I would much appreciate it. Thank you very much. When it comes to the HDR settings then the Division 2 offers a lot. We have the brightness slider which is responsible for the overall brightness in the game. We have a sharpening slider which softens or sharpening objects. Contrast slider is very helpful to set the picture or the picture as you like it. The neutral lightning switch is a very handy feature and we talk about this especially a little bit later. Then of course we have HDR peak brightness settings and we have of course the HDR peak brightness setting for the UI elements. So but question now is of course what are my recommended settings and has the internal HDR calibration from the Xbox Series X any impact on the game? And the answer is no, I was not able to see any difference however I was setting this menu. It doesn't matter if I uh, leave it like this or I just increase it like crazy, there was no difference in the game, okay? So it looks like the Division 2 is always getting the information from the internal menu, which is okay because we have a lot of options to set. There's also good news, I was not able also to find any increasement in terms of black level rays or gamma rays, which means the brightness level 50 on my LG CX still offers a perfect OLED black. Okay, so let's talk about my recommended settings and my recommended mode to play this game. And in my opinion, HGHG is doing a great job in this game. That doesn't count for all games, uh, especially for games like uh, God of War, I would not recommend to use HGHG, but in this case, please use it, because it's doing a much better job than dynamic tone mapping on. And for you, they don't know what dynamic tone mapping is doing, uh, it's in the word, it's dynamic, it will always change the brightness according to the screen or to the picture what is shown on the TV, which can be... Um, yeah, you won't see it, but uh, it will always fluctuate the um, brightness, which I don't like at all. HGHG is stable in the brightness and it will show you the same picture or the same brightness as intended from the developer or the programmer. Okay, so my recommended settings actually for playing HGHG and this is also to consider if you play in a dark environment, use HGHG. If you play in a very bright environment, use dynamic tone mapping on because it will give you a little bit more um, of uh, brightness in certain scenes, not in this at, at the moment, ah, a little bit, but not much, but the darker the picture is actually the more uh, dynamic tone mapping is brightened up the picture, so that's just for your information. So HGHG on my brightness setting is to 15, it was a standard, a standard is 10 and I change it to 15. Uh, if, I if I increase it more, I will start losing some details with the other settings. Uh, it has to be combined, okay? All the settings I set uh, has to be combined because if you change your HDR peak brightness, let's say to uh, 1200, then uh, the brightness settings is also not correct anymore, okay? But let's start from the top. Brightness settings, 15 sharpness, sharp, sharpening settings. I change it to five, that's the, that's the, yeah, the mid, uh, middle, I haven't seen any big difference to be very honest. Contrast, instead of 15, I change it to 18 because I really like the, uh, yeah, the difference between very dark and very bright objects. Um, but also keep in mind, the um, lower you go, you, you get a little bit more details in HDR effects, but the, the whole picture gets a little bit foggy, okay? You lose, um, or it will increase the gamma level a little bit and you lose really, nice details. Yeah, or not, not nice details, but you lose um, this nice effect between bright and darker areas. So standard is 15. I increased it to 18. I wouldn't go higher because I saw with 1920, I will start losing details. Uh, it's already, you know, with 17 on the edge, but 18, I think it's a nice yeah, compromise. When it comes to the neutral lightning, um, you know, we skip this for now. Um, HDR peak brightness, as always, on the LG CX, we know 700 to 800 candela, which means I change this to 800. I have found actually that even you increase this to 1000, you will not lose too many details. You can see that this is still um, changing, and from around 1200, you 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 don't have any difference anymore. But 
as always, 800 is the maximum what the, what the TV can um, yeah, provide and I would recommend to set it to 800. Peak brightness for UI elements is totally up to you because it's really just changing the UI and 200 for me is a good compromise yeah, for the game. Okay, so let's talk about the neutral lightning and this is something um, it's really hard to decide what to use uh, because this is right now a day level where you play in uh, a bright environment and in my opinion neutral lightning off looks much better compared to neutral lightning on because you get, I don't know if you, the problem is I can't, I can't switch, uh, you know, without, this is the only way I can show it to you. Um, but now neutral lightning is on, you have uh, clouds which are looking very bluish, a little bit too bluish in my opinion. With uh, the neutral lightning off, it comes back to this uh, warm tone, you know, around uh, what you what you know or what you know from outside from the from the real clouds when you go outside. Sometimes I'm not sure if you're doing this, but um, this is what I mean. So because we're playing right now, uh, where's the sun? I have no idea. The sun was was here. Maybe the sun is already gone. I have no idea where the sun is actually. But anyway, we're playing in the middle of the day. I think the sun was here somewhere. And it is supposed to be not that bluish, to be very honest. It looks like um, we're getting a bad weather. You know what I mean? Uh, there's something missing. There's really something missing. When it comes to night level, on the other hand, then I found that neutral lightning off is very, very bad because it will over brighten the whole picture. And I will show you what I mean. So in the very beginning of the game, and if you're a little bit lucky, and what I mean with a little bit lucky is uh, because it took me ages to get this level, I think it's the first level or after the tutorial, um, to get this in to play in the night. Because every time when I created a new character or continue or loaded the game, it was a day level. So it took me ages to get this to the night level again. I'm not sure why. Anyway, the, the point is now because this level looks so much better in the night because of this great effects, because of this bright lights. Uh, this is really a great HDR effects, especially this level. I haven't played so much more from the game so far. I have no idea actually how many levels playing in the night and see this faulty or broken uh, headlight here. It looks so great. This again here. So much better and by the way, um, as always, um, HGHG is also doing a little bit of a better job in the night. So as you can see, of course, uh, the whole picture gets a little bit brighter with dynamic tone mapping on, especially when we look in the, in, yeah, in the sky. But what I found is also, of course, you lose a little bit of the nice details because this is really nice detail. I hope my camera can show you this. And when I turn on dynamic tone mapping on, it gets brighter. Yes, I have to admit it, but you will lose the nice details uh, from the lamp. But anyway, that's always the same or almost in almost in every game. You know, HGHG is li a little bit more detailed than dynamic tone mapping. Um, so what I found here is um, with this setting neutral lightning. So in a bright level on a, or in a normal daylight level, I told you already, I think with uh, neutral lightning on, I'm missing a little bit of this uh, warm, warm sunshine effect, you know. It is a little bit too, um, yeah, bluish. Complete different uh, story here when you play in the darkness because the standard is actually neutral lightning off. But then it looks like this. This has nothing at all to do with a dark level or with a night level, not at all. Um, it will over brighten everything and it looks just awful in my opinion. Uh, I mean, I get this option. It is um, yeah, meant to be uh, for people that are playing in a very bright environment, but you lose so many details. Look at this um, HDR effect now. It is not the same anymore, not at all. Let, let me change this again to on. And look at this now. It looks so amazing. One of the best, one of the best HDR effects what I've ever seen on this LG so far. And this is, this is again an old game, it's not a brand new game. But this, this looks amazing, but really just when we are uh, changing the neutral lightning to on. Which, um, yeah, 
is a big problem if you play this in a dark in a bright room sorry because it is really very very dark and i changed my brightness setting on the uh, cx to show you actually something on the camera um but that's how it is uh, for me no problem because i'm using hghg i'm using uh, neutral lightning on and i play in a very dark room when i play this game so for me this mode is just amazing okay so time for a quick summary and as almost always it is not easy to recommend really uh, one setting so first of all we have hghg and dynamic tone mapping on so dynamic tone mapping off is for me no option so forget this um, between HGIG and dynamic tone mapping on, uh, it depends on your environment as always. So if, because, so this game is uh, working very well with HGIG, okay? So uh, not to compare with God of War, where I uh, strictly not recommend to use HGIG. In this game, actually, I recommend to use HGIG, but as always, your environment. If you play in a very dark room, yes, HGIG is great. If you play in a very bright room, Dynamic tone mapping on can give you a little bit more brightness, okay? So, that's to consider. Then we have, of course, our settings, which are really, really great in this game, I have to say. Um, brightness, um, change it to 15, uh, in my opinion, sharp, sharpening. I changed it from 7 to 5, but I couldn't see that big difference or much difference. Contrast, I changed it from 15 to 18, which uh, gives me a little bit of a... Yeah, more contrast, you know, between black and uh, very uh, bright levels or bright objects. Neutral lighting, very, very, um, yeah, it's a very powerful switch, very powerful switch. And so my recommendation is actually, if you play in a um, day level, change it or you uh, leave it on off, standard setting is off. If you play in a night level, um, change it to on. Depends, of course, if you're playing in a very bright room, then you will have problems to see anything in the darkness. But the HDR experience, when you change this to on in a dark level, is just wow, just perfect compared to off. So even in a day uh, level like this, you get when you change this from off to on, you get a little bit more details in the HDR effects, but uh, you will lose a lot of brightness, in my opinion. And... Again, I will. I miss. Uh, it's 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 going a little bit bluish, okay, in my opinion. So uh, I don't like this effect at all. So doing a daylight level, actually, I like the off level because it looks just amazing. But doing a night level, uh, no, no way. You have to change it to on. So unfortunately, you have to change during the game, which sucks, of course, because you should have one setting for the whole game. But that's how it is with HDR. Anyway, I think that's. That's enough for this game, uh, or for this video, not for this game, because I just started this game and I actually thinking about doing a little bit of Let's Plays because this is really great game. I never, never played this before, so I really like it. So just put in your comments what do you think if I should do a little bit of a let, Let's Play because, uh, by the way, my new channel needs few, okay? So just check out my Let's Play channel, okay? And subscribe to my Let's, let's Play channel. Thank you very much, okay? Anyway, that's enough for this video. I will just blow a couple of things up. That's the tutorial so you don't uh, have any spoiler whatsoever because I always try to not to spoil in any game. Anyway, thank you very much for watching me. I see you next time. Bye.